Hello guys, so this video is about Euro Aeon. It's an Europe server. The video is a bit too long and reached 30 minutes, which might take time to render, so I cut the video into two parts. This is a leveling guide for Asmodian and the first part of the video. If you experience black screen when creating a character, just click cancel or previous and try to create again. At first, you can pick a weapon for your class. You may pick one that you can use at this moment. I don't know if you get any of these boxes later, but now you can get two weapons. You can pick the other one later. And for classes which main weapons are available after ascension, I don't know if it's better to leave it be until then, or sacrifice the one that you can arm fuse. You can kill mobs until you reach the village. Find the Shugo NPC on the left and buy your first cube expansion. Then talk to Edandos to get a buff. The advantage is ours. Then talk to Flag Transporter to move to Anturion Crossing. Ion's greatest gift to the weary traveler. Safe journeys. You can buy into the obelisk here. Bane shot is optional but may add sound effect and could add more damage if you're not using the eternal weapon. From here, until we reach level 9, we can kill mobs all the way to Moonin. We can hunt around the graveyard right here. The mobs are around level 6 to 8. It won't take long, maybe around 15 to 20 minutes. If you want a slight faster route, you can go this way. Take the left path into the Odela plantation. We're going to the cave where we can find Rai if you're doing the main story. It's a bit far, but you can kill some mobs along the way. Mobs should be around level 8 to 9, so you'll get better XP than the graveyard and a level 10 name mob near the portal at the end of the cave. This should be a good spot if there aren't many people leveling. I mean, if you're the only one in the cave. You don't have to wait for a spawn, you can change channel by going to menu, go to channel. Then you can hunt more mobs. But yeah, I guess we're not alone. You can use return if you've reached level 9 or if you need a change of place. At level 9 you can do ascension. Good thing is, we don't have to walk to the sisters. Have you business with me? After you've done with Ascension and Ceremony, you can go straight to Altgar to equip your Divining gear and get your other weapon. You can find a Dandos near the Obelisk and claim some rewards. You get new rewards every 5 levels, so be sure to check once in a while. You can find her in Fortress or City of each region. From level 10 to 16, it's better to do the Altgard main quests because it's related to a level 21 quest called a Secret Library Access, which can help to do a Beluslan in Abish campaign later on. I'll explain later when we can grab the quest. You can follow the yellow quests here until you can do Haramel at level 16. If you want a faster way to level to 16 without quests, be sure to grab the XP charm from Edandos and take a flight to Heart of Impetusium. You can bind to the obelisk here. You kill the mobs in this area until level 16. You can also grab some shard, but it's not recommended for a magic based class as our spells might miss a lot. 
Maybe add more magical accuracy to cover for that. Dual wielding class like Gunner might still be able to do this though. There's also another spot in the Mao village, a place similar to a shogun, with a portal and name mob in it around this way. The mobs there should be at the highest level in this region, maybe level 19 to 20. But there are elites and if I recall they give almost the same number of XP. It takes around 16 minutes from 10 to 16 doing this one. Once you're level 16 you can use a scroll to Altgard fortress. Talk to the NPC near the obelisk with a dark blue marker. It's a quest for Haramel. It's optional, but you do give more XP for casual players or if you're not in a hurry. Then you can use Return to Impetusium. You can talk to Adandos again to receive next reward. You get free candies. and follow the quest objective that leads to Haramel. If you don't feel like doing classes, you can just clear Haramel and re-enter until you reach level 22. You can go to the Temple of Gold in Pandemonium. This is where the warehouse and workers are. Find an NPC called Necronarch in the middle. You can expand your cube three times with some Kina. If you don't have that much of Kina, you can always do this later. Be sure to reach level 22 before doing Mohem quests, cause there aren't much quests available in Mohem before that. You can finish Altgard main questline or keep doing Haramel to get you to level 22. When you've reached level 20, you can do your Sigma quest by talking to Hemdol. As for lumber, my friend. Follow the quest and yes. Glad to have met you. Nice day, isn't it? You can buy normal stigma skills from stigma tuner and gear stigma skills from stigma distributor. Just check these NPCs. I strive for quality. Ion's shade protects us. You can talk to Stigma Master to add or remove any Stigma slots oh, using data. Stigma shards. Stigma Masters are usually available in every city or fortress of each region. Powerful deals for power the price might be too expensive. So you can always check on broker to see if there's any stigma on sale by players. From level 22 you can do more hay main quests and some blue quests around the fortress or outposts until you reach level 25. There are some blue quests that ask you to gather fruits, or eaters, etc. You can buy them on broker if people are selling and you just need to turn in the quest. Open the find group tab, you can look for someone to hold a group, duo or party for an instance, just click pause offer and type what you're looking for. When you free travel 25 you can do NTC and solo it for this XP gain. This is at the Morhem Fortress, as you can see. You may grab some related quests by talking to Kelmar and enter the instance by talking to Valak. Welcome, Deva. So 
some mobs like recruits are considered normal mobs, so they don't give much XP. You might want to look for a condos or just hunt them all. As for a fire temple, it opens at level 27 which you can do to level 35. This can be hard to solo, but you might want to do it once for the main story, just find some people to do this together. You might need to do the 3 keys first, that opens a captive flame main quest. I guess this one has unlimited entry, and for anyone with classes without recovery skills, it's best to time the use of your consumable, add more damage and be sure to kite. The mobs can be tanky and are close together the deeper you go, so a bit hard to kite. It's best to do this run on alts, as you can upgrade their gear from the start. From level 30 to 35, you might want to do more Haim and Belusalan main quests together with some blue quests. Just be sure to check the outposts in each region. Don't forget to do the Abyss training quest that opens at level 25 so that you can do Abyss campaign. While you're doing the entry quest, you can talk to this NPC at the library to grab secret library access quest. To get the access, you need to complete all Outguard main quests and get Surtrain's recommendation. This quest is needed to do the Looking for Label quest which is a part of Abyss campaign that you can do together with restoring the Lusland Observatory, a Belusland campaign. You can go to Abyss by flying into the portal above each fortress, Morheim, Belusland and Outguard. You can also add Abyss campaign to your to-do list for level 30 to 35. At level 35, you can go to Belusalan and do the Spy Among the Leferis quest. This is a quest related to Alcumia Research Center, which is an instance that we'll be doing from 35 to 40. You can also do that until 45 if you want. Following the quest, you'll get teleported near the instance once, so we can make use of that. The NPC in front of the instance do give pink quests at level 40, so be sure to check it later. Be sure to use 100% charm wisely. I forgot that some has 10 hours cooldown on it. You can solo and do this instance like 16 times a day. But I forgot how many times we need to do this. I almost forgot that you can get another repeatable quest related to Alquimia. Take a flight from the fortress to Red Main Cavern and find this NPC for a quest called Trial by Fire. Only if you want to kill the last boss though. To reset the instance, you can leave the group and remake it, then you can just enter the instance again. At level 27, you can do Chromat's Trial. After the first run, it unlocks more quests, so you might want to check that for easy and quick instance to do. You can go to the fortress and talk to Nerita to grab the suspicious Eren quest. Just follow that until you can enter Chromat's Trial. Been waiting for you. 
The mobs here don't really give good XP, so you might want to focus on the quest objectives. From 35 to 45, you can solo Alquimia Reset Center and Chromat's Trial Quests. I've never tried the Steel Rake Duo, but you can always check that out. You should also do Blue Quests at Redmain Cavern, Horfrost Shelter, Best for Refuge Camp. There's also some at Kidorun but the XP might won't be enough at this level and camp Kistanian you can try to kill some elites outside of Alquimia reset center they might give good XP if soloed and on the weekend just be sure to do any more Haim, Belusland and Abyss main quests up to this point <laughs> 